Cancer. Scary word. Can make a room full of people go very quiet. Statistics tell us that one in three people will receive a cancer diagnosis in their lifetime. And I don't need to tell you that cancer is around us in our daily lives. And sadly, not just on billboards. But that's enough with the bad news. We are here to learn after all. And not just be reminded of the scary things that lurk just around the corner. Nevertheless, cancer is something that needs to be talked about openly and without fear, because there is hope. <coughs> Countless of researchers work every day to find ways to battle this disease, and I'm one of them. What I work on is the development of molecular structures which can be used as drug carriers. The best way to describe these molecular structures is to imagine them as molecular sponges, so they can soak up the anti-cancer drugs in their pores and then release them only when they reach the cancer cells. We know that cancer cells are very similar to the good cells in our bodies, but they do have their subtle differences. And it is those subtle differences that the molecular sponges can recognize and then release the drugs only when they are in the cancer environment. But why is this so important? Conventional cancer treatment goes hand in hand with a never-ending list of side effects. And these side effects can sometimes be very detrimental <coughs> to the quality of life. They can even sometimes be worse than the cancer itself. So what we want is better targeted cancer treatment. What we want is an anti-cancer drug that once administered in the body will only affect the cancer cells and not affect anything else. Uh, what my work focuses mainly on is to make said molecular sponges more stable. At the minute, the biggest problem we have with them is that once administered in the bloodstream, they fall apart really quickly, releasing the drug earlier on. What I'm trying to make is coatings for these molecular sponges so that they can be more sturdy, so once they enter the blood, they stay stable enough to reach the cancer cells and then release the anti-cancer drug. This helps us build a better future where the word cancer is not associated with the word fear. Thank you very much for listening.